District of Bellingham, Washington is home to the Firehouse Performing Arts Center. Housed in a renovated historic 1927 fire station, the center is home to a neighborhood park, the Firehouse Cafe, a rotating art gallery, a classroom space, and a 75-seat theater. tend to dream, you know, and so I was like, I you know it would be cool, would be to have like an actual space, because I knew there was a lot of community arts groups that were always poor cousin, always trying to find space wherever they could, you know, just kind of subletting a little bit of space from somebody type of thing, and I, gotta, I think there's enough of those groups that if you just actually created a space, you know, you could, you know, get all those people to buy in, you know, mm -hmm. to some time. Yeah, spaces, and then you saw an article in the Herald, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That the city was selling this building. It's with us in this old firehouse. Okay. And we came and took a look at it, and we were like, oh, the big truck bay. That would be an obvious open space for studio. Yeah. That's the that's the sweetest part to me. It's, it's such a such a sweet venue, affordable, um, open for all kinds of people, all kinds of ages. You know, whether they just sit there and breathe and drink a good chai or move themselves round and round. Mm -hmm. My brother always talked about coffee shops, right? Yeah. And that's a small part of the whole structure. Yeah. About historically, a coffee shop is where artists can get together, yeah. take legal stimulants. <laughs> and, and, and like they could share ideas, inner city, you know, the coffee house was where people went yeah. to talk. But what's amazing is you guys have created, that's actually the space, the performance yeah. space. Yeah. And then you have the, the social networking space, and then you have where it happened. And, and top notch stuff, but it also is drawing the community in just because of the real, not about the coffee. Yeah. It's just there. Yeah. But it's what happens inside. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, ten colors that we were trying to decide to paint the outside, um, just swatched on the side of the building. Maybe 37. 37, maybe. <laughs> and then as people would drive by or walk by, we would stop them and ask them what their favorite color was, and then we were painting tally marks underneath each color that <laughs> got the most votes. Right. And that green color won. So that was it. Wow. And we had like a lemonade and like Matt's mom had made a firehouse shaped little cookies and people would come by and start eating cookies and they would vote. The neighbors down here, they had like made little signs and they were both their husband and wife and they're going for very different colors and they came by picketing and then they were like <laughs> lobbying people as people drove by and like, oh, and we ended up with green. There's a lot of a lot of things about this place that are really special. It's the his, there's a uh, real community history behind it, and so the community is we have a very tight community community bond here. Uh, and I mean everything we do here, we try to do really high quality. We don't really forsake uh, quality for price. You know, you might pay a little bit more for certain things here, but it's usually better. Uh, I mean, everybody here takes really takes a lot of pride in what they make, what they do. We have the gardens right to the side of the building that, and people in the community just come in and take a couple leaves of lettuce, and you know, at the same time, they'll come and bring rhubarb for us. To, uh, I got a rhubarb pie in the back that you know all the rhubarb we use in it is from one of our regulars, and she doesn't ask anything for it; she just brings it in. So, I mean, I really like that sense of community and sharing that we got going here. Nice. <laughs> It's cool too because you know, I mean, not only I think I like does it serve the immediate like community and the immediate Bellingham community, but like for example, um, just like last weekend I think it was, um, oh, yeah. this llama from Bhutan, Bhutan has like just attached himself to Bellingham and the Firehouse, oh, wow. and he has this traveling like artist, like, dancers and artists that he brings to try and like um, just uh, educate people on Bhutan and culture there culture and stuff like that yeah. and traditions and he is just like this returning customer and he just he is this cute little accent. Like so he's bringing here, so. an other community to, to this community. To us. Okay. Yeah.
openness. There's just kind of, a, it's like you feel like you're part of a big family here or something.